Hi everyone, Petra here with Petra's Creative Plans. So today we are going to be doing a plan with me video in my big vertical catch-all planner by Happy Planner. And I will be um, incorporating a couple of things this week. I'm going to be using the Muted Bloom sticker book by Live Love Posh, as well as some hexagon uh, colorful box stickers that I made using my Cricut. And this is going to be for the um, Mabby Canadian Happy Planner group that I am part of on Facebook. We In the group there are weekly themes. Um, and for this next week the theme was hexagons. So let's get started. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've pulled out the pages for Monday, October 18th through Sunday, October 24th. As I said, I have these hexagon stickers that I made using my Cricut. Um, and then I'm going to be using the Muted Blooms by Live Love Posh. I love this sticker book. And I was planning on using these stickers here. So I tried to coordinate the colors as best as I could with these stickers and I think I did a pretty good job um, so we're going to combine these and then I did pull out some washi tapes that we might use as well so I've got kind of this peachy color um, this little bit of that um, grayish blue and then this one has uh, just some different kind of a that peach and a blue polka dot with a little bit of a gold dot in it as well um, and then it's on white, so that'll be pretty subtle. I like that. And I thought felt that kind of went good with these little dots in the background of some of these stickers. All right, so let's get started. Where to start this week? I think I want to start by bringing in some of this washi tape. And I think I want to bring some of this in...
cute. Now, I'm going to bring in a couple of florals and then we'll get started with the hexagons, which is what this one will be all about. So I do kind of like this corner one and I do want to kind of bring that in there, but I don't want to lose that washi tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors here and I'm just going to cut this make a straight line across and then we're going to bring it underneath here like that and I'm going to cut this down there because I don't want to overlap onto that box there and then same thing I'm just going to trim off here So we've got that down. I like that. And I want to put a hexagon in there. And I'm thinking I want to use this big kind of peach one here like that. Okay, and there are some words in here. Let's see. Goals to do today. Meeting, weekend, birthday appointment. Okay. Maybe I'll do one of these goal stickers here. I'll just kind of put it down there. Goals. All right, let's keep moving along. So I kind of want to do almost like a bit of a cluster with some of these. So let's just start and we'll see where we end up. I'm just gonna kind of Randomly grab some of these. I don't like how crooked that one is. Shoot, I wonder if we can get it up. Nice, okay. There we go. All right. These do them sort of as well. have a little fun with this one and cut it in half. We'll do it right here. Okay. Keep the pages lined up nice, which and then just kind of eyeball it so it looks like they're going this in the same spot. Okay. Um, thinking this one will go down. Okay. 
here somewhere. This purple one. And go in there. And I've got no rhyme or reason to how I'm doing this. I'm just kind of plopping them in wherever I think I need need one. I'm kind of sticking them in. And you save that bit. Okay. Let's do some more. I want some purple in here. Like that. Maybe another one of these green ones down here. little mint one can come in down there. Need something more here. Let's pull in one of these peach ones. Okay, and another one down here. Let's do this one. Okay, and we need to fill in this area. This one filled in there. Do that again. So it's coming right off the page over here. Okay, I better make sure that I'm still in the frame because I'm, I've changed my craft room around so I'm working with a new setup here so I don't want to be out of frame for you guys. Still need a little more down there. I'm running out of color options so let's do one of the peach ones. Okay. And let's go back to these flowers and get some of these florals in. Okay. Now, sometimes some of these stickers have a lot of this white outline on them and so if it's too much I can I'll kind of trim it off a bit if it's going to get in the way and that's okay it's not hard to do I'll drop one down here I'm gonna take one of these nice nice big ones here and I'm going to cut it in half like that. Oops, 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 nope. And I'm going to stick this right up along here. And maybe one right down here. Okay. We're just going to start scattering in some of these corals to help take up some of the space. So like we can put 
one in up here. One can go in down here. Oh, this one's pretty. This one come in here. Okay, and what we can do is we can don't put it all the way down and just kind of trim it off. And you should be able to peel these off. You can kind of see the hexagon sticker show through. And if you just kind of lay the sticker down gently without pressing down on it. You should be able to lift it up, no problem. If you push it down hard, you'll probably ruin the hexagon sticker underneath. So just go slow and careful. Nice. I wanna get some little ones in here. So again, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of cut it. That one can go in there. Have a little cluster like this. I'm going to take this one and cut it like that. We'll put this one up in here. Don't be afraid to cut your stickers, guys. Make them work for you. If you are if you want to use one, but you're not quite sure what to do with it or how, cut it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no rule that says you can't. I love cutting up my stickers and making them work for me. one I'm gonna put up in here this one I'm gonna have coming off of here okay I've got this bit as well that I would really like to use somewhere so I might just put it in here okay Let's keep going just a little bit. I do kind of want to maybe put something down here as well. Just a little, a little something that can come off the corner. Okay. And have a little something there. I feel like I need something here. I don't necessarily want to go into that sticker sheet. Just okay. Let's see. Let's stop and take a look here. Okay, I want to cut this excess off. And I may use this little bit here. Like that. All right. I do want to make a couple of little bullet points in here. So I think I'm going to take 
I'm just going to go in with my blue washi and I'm just going to tear off some pieces. I might actually alternate them between the blue and this peach. Okay, one more blue one, I think. Okay, I'm gonna take my little knife and I'm just gonna cut it and cut it. I'll trim off this washi tape here. kind of cute. This one's a little challenging for me. I, I kind of get stumped with the hexagons and what to do with them, um, but I think it's cute. I think this will work, work nicely. The only thing that I'm thinking that I would like to add into this now would be maybe some lines. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my line stencil. color lines do I want to do? I think I'm just going to go with my um, Muji 0 0.38. It's a nice fine pen. And let's get some lines thrown in here. Okay, I think I'm going to do some down here. And we'll do some up here, maybe in this one. Okay. And again down here, maybe this one. Do this one up here. And this one here. All right. I think that is super cute. I really like that. I like the way that it turned out. Now, I do want to put I'm gonna use some of these don't forget stickers out of this book. I'm going to put one up here. And put another one here.
here. Okay. make a to do right down here for Monday and I'm gonna do for Thursdays always kind of hectic so let's do a two day here for this one and that kind of ties in that goals one. And I think I'll use one more today. And we'll put that in up here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to call that finished. Uh, we can pop this back on the discs. So there it is. It's back on my discs. It's ready to go for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, this is my spread using the theme of hexagons for the um, Mambi Canadian Happy Planner Facebook group that I'm a part of. It's an awesome group. There's so many wonderful and talented people in that group. Um, I'm quite happy to be a part of it. Uh, so... Anyways, thanks for joining in. As always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!